Hey there, I'm Zach with Colony Roofers. Today we're gonna look at should you replace your gutters when you replace your roof? We're gonna go through a variety of different things that play into helping you make the best decision for your property. All right, so the first thing we wanna talk about when we are asking the question, should you replace your gutters at the same time that you're replacing your, your roof, is what's the existing condition of your gutters. There's a few different types of metal that they might be made out of. They're almost always gonna be made out of either aluminum or steel. Aluminum is used a lot more on residential. Steel is used a lot more on the commercial side of, of gutters and downspouts. But the, the condition is something you wanna look at. Gutters are made of metal typically, and so they're gonna last a lot longer than what a shingle might last. And so if the existing gutters were replaced 10 years ago and the roof is 15, 20 years old and needs to be replaced, then it may very well be that you don't need to replace the gutters at the same time that you're replacing the roof because the metal still has another you know, 10, 15, 20 years. Sometimes depending on the type of metal, you know, with copper, it could last for you know, 30, 40, 50 years even depending on the different conditions that it's in as far as weather, geography, that sort of thing. So the first thing you want to do is pay attention to the conditions. The most important thing is look for rust and places where the gutter has actually basically rusted out and decayed. Uh, obviously, it can't hold water and route the water to the correct place if you've got rust. So a really easy way to do that is just walk around the property after it's rained real recently. So maybe 10 minutes after it stops raining or even as it starts to just drizzle and the clouds are moving out, go ahead and look at the property, look up at the gutters and see if you see water seeping out underneath the actual gutter itself. And, and that's a good indication that the gutters are to the point where they probably should be replaced. The other way you can obviously have a, a roofing contractor or a gutter contractor specifically look at the condition provide you pictures from up on the roof because unfortunately sometimes you can't see the rust until you're actually up on the roof looking at the gutter from kind of top down or aerial view and so basically you, you just want to make sure you have a really good idea of what the condition of the existing gutters is and then we can move on from there and talk about what is the new roof you're putting on and what's your budget and make a decision as to whether or not it really is necessary to replace the gutters at the same time that you're replacing the roof. All right, so once you've looked at the existing condition of your gutters, let's talk about new roof materials. And this little diagram right here kind of shows us the different components of where a roof and gutters intersect. The material that we use at the edge of the transition from the main roof to the fascia board is going to determine you know, whether or not you may want to do this at the same time. If you haven't seen any of our videos on drip edge or don't know what drip edge is, that is a piece of metal that's actually going to go from this main roof and kind of intersect with the fascia board. The reason that drip edge exists is that in the past, there's been a lot of issues with water damage to this fascia and soffit related to water running down the roof. And then there's something called the cohesive property of water where it wants to hang on to the surface that it's actually on. And so the water, as it gets to this edge, instead of just running off, it actually wants to hang on to the fascia board and start to drip down the fascia board and causes rot over time. And as you can tell, if we introduce gutters to this situation, that drip edge, in order for it to operate effectively, needs to actually sit in the gutter. Okay, so I'm gonna draw, this is a terrible picture. You probably think I look like a kindergartner drawing this, but nonetheless, the gutter needs to sit behind the drip edge or the drip edge needs to sit in the gutter and then the gutter is actually fastened with the gutter spike into the fascia and probably into rafter tails too at, at certain spikes. So whether or not your roof has drip edge on it right now and whether or not you're going to be putting drip edge on in connection with the condition in your budget is going to be a huge driver as to whether or not you should do it at the same time or not. If you do this after the fact, the drip edge has to be lifted up and many times they actually have to snip the drip edge and make sure that, you know, that it kind of meshes together. It's, it's not as clean of an installation when they're done separately. And so if you can get them done at the same time and you're planning to replace the gutters in the near future anyway, it's usually ideal to do that if you're looking to install drip edge on your new roof.
All right, so the last part of the equation in deciding whether to replace your gutters at the same time that you replace your roof is gonna be your budget. A budget is something that depends on your specific property, depends on the materials you decide to use. And so we can't go too far in depth as to, hey, if your budget is $1,000 and do it, if it's $10,000, don't do it. Obviously for residential, for commercial, for different size properties, the answer is gonna be different. The best thing you can do here is go ahead and, whether it's Colony Roofers or another roofing contractor or gutter contractor, go ahead and get a real estimate and just get a feel for how much this could cost. Uh, it's typically gonna be done on linear footage, um, jobs that require um, taller ladders, more complexity, steeper roofs, that sort of thing, it may drive the cost up a little bit. But if this is something that is going to be a cost in the near future for you regardless, if, if your budget is close, you may want to really think hard because of the other things we've talked about here with drip edge and new roof materials and existing conditions, you may wanna think hard about going ahead and doing that even though it may be slightly above your budget, it may actually be a better long-term decision to go ahead and replace it. So I hope this video was helpful in determining whether to replace your gutters at the same time as your roof. If you have questions or other things that you wanna learn about, go ahead and click on our Learning Center on our website or visit our YouTube channel for a lot more help on some of the most frequently asked questions that we get from property owners and homeowners.